Everybody and welcome to the shoot around preview. I'm Joey Ramirez here with Clay Moser to break down tonight's game against the Chicago Bulls. Clay, when we look at this Lakers team, obviously we're looking at a, a very young core at this moment without LeBron James. What do you guys want to see out of out of the young guys in this game? Well, the, the first thing is, is that nobody cares about us being young or what situation we're in at this point. That's just not the way professional sports works. Like nobody's nobody's suffering along with us. So we've got to figure out a way to you know, it's an old adage, but we got to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and we just got to get it done tonight against a very, very talented, also young core Chicago Bulls. Now, when you look at you guys in this 10 game span without LeBron, second in defense, last in offense. Let's start on the defensive end. What have you guys been doing well on that side of the ball? Well, for the most part, those guys have just bought in. You know, it's at the end of the day, it's all about the players. Like we give them a foundation, we give them a framework, and then they've got to go out and make it happen. And they have for the most part have been flying around and, and making things happen and and covering for each other and all that kind of thing and, and it's the, it's really a major tribute to them because typically when you don't play very good offense it's also hard to play defense because you're backpedaling all the time getting back in transition you know a lot the best line of defense is when you score and then you can get your defense set so they've just done an outstanding job with it now on offense how do you start scoring more well <laughs> One of the things we're going to try and do tonight is we're going to try and create some offense off of our defense. And we're going to uh, get up and be aggressive. We're going to do some things after timeouts and start of quarters and that kind of thing to try and disrupt them. I know my friend Jim Boylan's probably going to watch this thing, so I don't want to give him the whole thing. Uh, he and I were roommates at one time, believe it or not. But, uh, you know, we're just going to try and be aggressive. And then, and then we've got to uh, do a better job of being disciplined about getting to our spots. and starting our offense once we're located where we actually belong. And there's, a, there's another old saying that, that old coaches say is that, that uh, if you start right, you end right, and if you start wrong, you end wrong. So we got to start right tonight with our sets. When you look at the Bulls, when you scout them, who jumps off the tape for them? Numerous guys. I mean, Levine is a top 15 scorer, gets almost 24 a game, and he's prone to like some monster quarters. Uh, you know, he can get you 16, 18, 20 in a quarter, like in a, just in a, you know, a blink of an eye. So he's obviously dangerous. Markinen, I know, is known as a great shooter, but he actually does much more than that. He can put the ball on the floor both directions. Typically, he likes to go to his left, but he's not broken going to his right. Dunn's having a career year scoring-wise. I love this kid, Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, he blocks shots. He's an excellent passer. He rolls. He, he uh, runs the floor, the offensive rebounds. He's not hunting for shots, so he's a perfect complement. Uh, so there's a lot of things that stick out. And then they bring some danger scores off the bench. And Portis, I think, is going to play tonight. Um, Blakeney can score in bunches. Uh, Jabari Parker, who's kind of been on the outs there, looks like he's going to get some time. Very, very talented player. So uh, the, the Bulls front office has done a mav you know, marvelous job of putting together a roster there. Last thing for you, Clay, who wins one-on-one, -on -one, Clay Moser or Jim Boylan? There's no doubt he cannot guard me. Uh, he's a little out of shape, and he's probably distracted at this point. So I think I'd, I think I'd get it done. All right, Jim, we hope you're watching. That's Clay Moser. Uh, we got Lakers and the Chicago Bulls tonight at 730 at Staples Center. We'll see you there.